what's up you guys so it is 3 a.m right now and we are going to bed and can't make this shit up there's noise happening again i'm like lost for words and i'm not so this is the last straw i can't do it anymore yeah guys i we really tried to give him another chance like i told you guys we put him back in training and we've been doing everything right it's just that one situation just yeah this up. one situation just messed him up permanently and it will he'll never be the same again you guys i care too much about my future and garic to continuous continue to let this happen later on in the future i'm gonna tell you guys right now i do plan on having kids later on down the line but I can't let this happen with little kids around. Like, I just, I I can't. I feel betrayed. I know, babe, it's okay. Like, this shit doesn't even hurt. Like, I, I don't give a fuck about this shit. I know. Do you want me to show them? That's my body, yo. Oh. It's okay, don't, don't cry, I know. Sorry guys, my hair's fucked up, shit. It's not as bad as last time, but fuck it. Yeah, it's and not as bad. got me right here too. Again, I was just trying to hug him. Like, say goodnight, you know? Sorry if it's graphic and shit. He got my leg, too. This time around, he didn't stop. He kept going. Yeah, this time, like, before. I didn't even hit him, nothing. Like, I just backed up. Like, yeah, like, this, the last time Gar got bit by him, he, it was like a quick bite. could have took my bottom lip off. I know, I know. The last time that he did this. <sighs> The last time that he did this, it was like a quick bite, and then he ran away. But this time, he grabbed onto Garik, but I think that you kind of had, like... A but I dragged him with my lip. Like, he, like, held on. This time? Yeah, and then I got... I turned my back. You were pretty quick this time, though. Like, you were yeah, pretty quick, because I, I think you he, knew... Dogs are just fast, dude. Yeah. Like, guys, I've done, like, fighting my whole life. Like, I, was, I have a good reflex. It's like, just dogs crazy. are just, like... Oh. Like, yeah, shit. it's just crazy though because when you were here, Damn. I was kissing him and he was loving on me and I was laying on Guys, top I of him. I literally went and took a piss. I came, I hugged him, kissed his head, and he just grabbed me. And I backed up. And then he I chased. I turned my back. Yeah, and he then chased he chased me. Garic. He bit my leg. And then I yelled really loud and I said, "Hey, Scott!" And Scar. then he went and laid down in his bed and like. Yeah, growled. he kind of like growled like like leave me alone. I think because he knows that he does this like. I'm just going to tell you guys, if we're being raw and honest here, he does this to Nitro, and we're trying to work through it, and it's honestly not fair to Garik, and it's not fair to our other dog, who is also a male, and at this point, it has nothing to do with Nitro being intact. Maybe a small portion of it does, but Nitro doesn't really do anything to bother him sometimes, and Scar will just come and attack him for no reason. The same thing that he does to Garik, like, I think thinks that because he does this to Nitro that he could do it to Garik, and that's not right because Garik is his dad. I don't know what is all going on in his head. Like, I do everything. I take him to the mall. I walk him every day. I always give him treats, food. Like, I gave him, I give him, like, puppy patties. I'm, like, such a good... You're a good dog dad, babe. Don't worry. It's okay. We've talked about this many times. It is really hard to have a dog who is reactive to everything. We do a lot for that dog. Yeah. And he it's gets like, the most treatments. Like, yeah, I know. He gets to sleep in the bed with us. After everything that he did, yeah. He gets most of the yeah. treats. He goes to the mall. The other dogs don't go to the mall. Yeah. What is the universe trying to tell us? Because I'm not trying to... Fuck it. I'm like, tired of this shit. I'm gonna just like tell you what happened. Garik went to go use the restroom. And it's crazy because we were talking about this already, about like the kids thing and him attacking our kids. And then he attacked you and you had Guys, told the first him. time he bit my lip, I was like, look, I don't wanna give him away, but we have to just in case we have a baby in the future. I just don't trust him around my baby. But you know, he's my son, my first dog. Like Scar's been there with us through a thick and thin. and. I just couldn't give him away, but this, just, I can't even look at him anymore. I don't want to call this giving up on him. I want to call this 
I don't know what to call this. I want to I want to call this like letting him be himself in a different environment. I I I don't know what to say because when he's with the dog trainer, he's a really great dog. And I don't know what we're doing wrong because we do everything. He's spoiled. He's so spoiled and I think because he does this type of stuff to Nitro, he thinks that it's okay to do. And we do punish him, you guys. Like when he does this to Nitro, we, we send don't him. Hit him but yeah, we send. Him send yeah, we send him to his cage. And sometimes, if he has a shock collar on him, we'll shock him. And it's not abuse, you guys. It's to get him out of that that state of attacking. Girl, if he doesn't have that on, he's just gonna yeah. kill Nitro. Yeah, if oh. he doesn't have it on, yeah. And Nitro doesn't do anything, you Nitro guys. Nitro literally doesn't do anything. It's not fair to any of us. I, I was on the bed. And Garik had to go use the restroom. Thank we God were, he didn't take my fucking lip off again. I think you were very fast this time because you knew what was going to happen, you know? But I was laying on him, and he didn't do anything. And he was, like, going like this to me, like, give me more kisses. And I saw him, and he was, like, like being lovey on me. And then once Garik came, he got really defensive and went after Garik. And I don't know why. And once I called him off, he, he got off of Garik, so... I don't want to give him an excuse because there's no excuse there, but I think he got reactive towards me, but that's not good because you're his dad. Like sometimes on walks, he's like good. And then if somebody's like just walking by, he'll just want to attack them. And it's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, you guys. And I have to t tell him to stop and he'll stop. And he'll kind of just look at me like, like it wasn't him. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, like. Then somebody else will say hi to me and he's perfectly fine. Like, he'll just sit there sometimes and, and let the conversation go, huh? You guys would think that I'm scared to hug him and go around him from the first one. Like I said, he's my fucking son and I, I'm, a, I'm a forgiveness type of person. I forgive people and shit. Also, we were in the shower because Garik, I made Garik get in the shower to wash yeah, out yeah, his Yeah, to mouth. rinse it off. like. Yeah, to rinse it off because it was like, it was actually like really bloody because it just like was open for a minute. And and I know, I know I God did this in. for a reason. Guys, never question God. Like, I had a breakdown, but like, I just, like, I was like, why? Like, what did I do? Like, I was just, uh, you know? But I will never turn my back on God. Like, Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Everything that happens to me happens for a reason. So maybe there's a reason why we have to give Scar away. Or we have three dogs. Maybe he's like, he's giving us signs to give Scar away. Maybe for the best. What if... We kept Scar, we had a baby, and Scar, God forbid, did something to our kid. I don't want to say that you're you're any less for, of our child, but, like, you're able to defend yourself, and a child isn't, like... Honestly, Scar, I'd rather have this happen like, to me Scar kept than in the future, like, have my son in that predicament, like... Or daughter. You know, or daughter, or... And a, a child is little, like, they Dude, can't do anything. I'm not going to let that happen, I... I would still keep Scar because there's a YouTube video where we a, first wanted to pick them up. Like You guys, he was a great dog when we first got him. That motherfucker is he was fucked. His, fucked best, friend dog, was, his best friend was my cat. I want to go. I hate those people at the park, dude. I don't know. God will do his job, but I don't know. They dude. just ruined him. They ruined him. And he'll never. I don't think he'll ever be the be same. The same. And I think that a lot of people can understand what we're talking about because when you have a dog that's reactive like that you can't continue having them and trust me we saw all your guys's comments about the same thing about what if you have a kid like yeah. what if he does it again trust we me took we that thought risk. about that we, we, we took that we, risk god gave me another sign god gave me the first sign i didn't listen to him second one thank god he didn't take my lip off so i also want like to yeah, i also want to say one thing about the people that were sitting here and saying like I didn't want to talk about it. I kind of wanted to disregard my TikTok video that like got a lot of views. Which one? Um, the one where I was like, I was like explaining how that sound, like how when I was driving to the ER, and everybody was like, "Oh, you're acting like man's got shot." I don't. You guys, I'm, like, I'm not I, you like, guys, but no, some people like just every... like want to see someone get shot. Like, yeah, dude. Like I, I understand getting shot is is horrible. ten times worse. Ten yeah. times worse, but. It's not about it was, it was what about, happened. It's it like, was about it's my, getting... It's my dog, like... It was about getting bit in the face, yes. But it was about the fact that we had just gotten engaged. 
it my was birthday a happy was moment. the next day yeah it was a happy happy moment you guys like we're supposed to be happy i i my 22nd birthday is all i'm gonna remember is my lip got fucking took off me like like you guys i got rushed to the er the next day i still think about it till this day and it's like i have this one oh, i don't want to get emotional i have this one picture of garic and it was when we came back from the er and i felt so hey, bad girl, no i know oh. I just, I felt so bad because you were sleeping and like a part of me felt guilty because I was like, I want a dog. I want a dog. No, it's and not your fault. I just feel, it's I felt so guilty. Fault. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, you guys. And it's like, I felt guilty because I was okay. And like, I'm perfectly fine and, and you weren't. So it was like, no, I, I, I feel like I, I actually rather I swear on everything, I'd rather have this happen to me than to Brittany. I, I can't. I don't. I want to take it no, for you. No. No, dude. But it's all right. I'll get over it. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm not going to go to the ER. I'm going to fucking sleep. I'm going to wake up. And I'm going to grind. Stay tuned for more videos. We just wanted to tell you guys how what happened. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to figure it out tomorrow. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll update you guys again. Just expect more videos and I'm gonna we're gonna keep grinding. And also you guys, it was both mine and Garic's choice to keep Garic and I mean to keep Garic. To keep Scar and oh yeah, throw me away. It was both of our choice to take that risk and not give up on him. Yeah. Because we're true dog owners. We don't believe that, you know, as soon as they bite you like you just turn your back on them like this was the second time, and this wasn't the second time that he's attacked Nitro either. So, honestly, it's not fair to Nitro, and it's not fair to Garic. It's not fair to any of us to continuously be scared. And on top of it, it's not fair to him, because we have people come over to our house all the time. And Scar is scary. He's big, and he will bite. And it's not fair to him just to be in the cage while people are here. Like, I love you guys. Stay safe. Watch who you hang with. Especially friends. Friends is number one. Friends can stab you in your back. Just just have your guard up. I can't wipe it. No, it's cool. It's cool. Don't just... trust anyone but yourself. Or if you have a lovely, beautiful fiance like me. <laughs> I love you. It's rare to find a female like her. Thank honestly. You. It's rare to find a fiance like this. You'll find your one, guys. We're the goat couple because we're meant for each other. We're strong. We're powerful. Yeah. And but we have our moments. We're gonna make we're... sure Scar is gonna be good. So don't worry, guys. Subscribe, hit the post notification, give this video a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for more videos. Comment down below what you guys wanna see us do. And I just want to say one more thing, you guys. Um, if any of you guys know any like places where you can send your reactive dogs and like rehome them, please send them to me, cause I think that he needs. He needs Somebody. help, guys. Yeah, he needs... I can't just put him down. There's no way I can. No, we can't do that to him. He's a, good, he's a good dog. He's just confused. I don't know what's in his brain. No, he's such a good dog. When his moments are there, like... I wanted him there, to like... grow old with me. Like, I just wanted him... You just gotta let go sometimes. But... Love you guys. Stay safe. GMB out.